The culture of Spain is based on a variety of historical influences, primarily based on the culture of ancient Rome, Spain being a prominent part of the Greco-Roman world for centuries. The very name of Spain comes from the name that the Romans gave to the country, Hispania. Other ancient peoples such as Greeks, Tardisians, Celts, Iberians, Celtiberians, Phoenicians and Carthaginians also had some influence. In the areas of language and also religion, the ancient Romans left a lasting legacy in the Spanish culture because Rome created Hispania as a political, legal and administrative unit. The subsequent course of Spanish history added other elements to the country's culture and traditions. The Visigothic kingdom left a united Christian Hispania that was going to be welded in the Reconquista. The Visigoths kept the Roman legacy in Spain between the fall of the Roman Empire and the early Middle Ages. Muslim influences remained during the Middle Ages in the areas conquered by the Umaways, however, these influences had not been completely assimilated into the Spanish culture. Spanish culture before and after the arrival of the Muslims was based heavily on Roman heritage and the primary religion practiced was Catholicism. A comparison can be drawn with the North African nations, who also lived under the Roman Empire before Muslim rule. However, there is scarce reminder of the Roman presence in North Africa as the predominant culture is Arabic nowadays. Around 75% of modern Spanish language is derived from Latin. Ancient Greek has also contributed substantially to Spanish vocabulary, especially through Latin, where it had a great impact. Spanish vocabulary has been in contact from an early date with Arabic, having developed during the Al-Andalus era in the Iberian Peninsula. With around 8% of its vocabulary being Arabic in origin and minor influences but not least from other languages including Basque, Celtic and Gothic. After the defeat of the Muslims during the Christian Reconquista period between 718 and 1492, Spain became an entirely Roman Catholic country. In addition, the nation's history and its Mediterranean and Atlantic environment have played a significant role in shaping its culture, and also in shaping other cultures, such as the culture of Latin America through the colonization of the Americas. Spain has the third highest number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the world, after Italy and China, with a total of 47. The term Spanish literature refers to literature written in the Spanish language, including literature composed by Spanish and Latin American writers. It may include Spanish poetry, prose, and novels. Tragicomedia de Calisto y Melibea, also called La Celestina Spanish literature is the name given to the literary works written in Spain throughout time, and those by Spanish authors worldwide. Due to historic, geographic, and generational diversity, Spanish literature has known a great number of influences and is very diverse. Some major movements can be identified within it. Highlights include the Cantar de Mio Cid, the oldest preserved Spanish Cantar de Hesta. It is written in medieval Spanish, the ancestor of modern Spanish. La Celestina is a book published anonymously by Fernando de Rojas in 1499. This book is considered to be one of the greatest in Spanish literature, and traditionally marks the end of medieval literature and the beginning of the literary renaissance in Spain. Besides its importance in the Spanish literature of the golden centuries, La Sario de Tormes is credited with founding a literary genre, the picaresque novel, so called from Spanish picaro, meaning rogue or rascal. In these novels, the adventures of the Picaro expose injustice while simultaneously amusing the reader. Published by Miguel de Cervantes in two volumes a decade apart, Don Quixote is the most influential work of literature to emerge from the Spanish Golden Age and perhaps the entire Spanish literary canon. As a founding work of modern Western literature, it regularly appears at or near the top of lists of the greatest works of fiction ever published. Spain's greatest painters during the Spanish Golden Age period included El Greco, Bartolomé Esteban Murillo, Diego Velázquez, and Francisco Goya, who became world-renowned artists between the period of the 17th century to 19th century also in early parts of the 20th century. However, Spain's best-known artist since the 20th century has been Pablo Picasso, who is known for his abstract sculptures, drawings, graphics, and ceramics in addition to his paintings. Other leading artists include Salvador Dali, Juan Gris, Joan Miró, and Antoni Tapias. The Borgos Cathedral is a work of Spanish Gothic architecture. During the prehistoric period, the megalithic Iberian and Celtic architectures developed. Through the Roman period, both urban development and construction projects flourished. After the pre-Romanesque period, in the architecture of Al-Andalus, important contributions were made by the Caliphate of Córdoba. The Tafas, the Almoravids and Amahads, and the Nazareth of the Kingdom of Granada. Later, several currents appear, Mudéjar, 
the Romanesque period, the Gothic period, the Renaissance, the Baroque period, the Spanish colonial architecture, and neoclassical style are the most significant. In the 19th century eclecticism and regionalism, the Neo-Mudéjar style and glass architecture bloom. In the 20th century, the Catalan modernism, modernist architecture, and contemporary architecture germinated. Cabeza de Luis Buñuel, sculptor's work by Iñaki, in the center Buñuel Calanda. In recent years, Spanish cinema, including within Spain and Spanish filmmakers abroad, has achieved high marks of recognition as a result of its creative and technical excellence. In the long history of Spanish cinema, the great filmmaker Luis Buñuel was the first to achieve universal recognition, followed by Pedro Almodovar in the 1980s. Spanish cinema has also seen international success over the years with films by directors like Segundo de Chaman, Florian Rey, Luis García Berlanga, Carlos Saura, Julio Menem, and Alejandro Amenabar. Woody Allen, upon receiving the prestigious Prince of Asturias Award in 2002 in Oviedo remarked, When I left New York, the most exciting film in the city at the time was Spanish, Pedro Almodovar's. 1. I hope that Europeans will continue to lead the way in filmmaking because at the moment not much is coming from the United States. Non-directors have obtained less international notability. Only the cinematographer Nestor Almendros, the actress Penelope Cruz and the actors Fernando Rey, Antonio Banderas, Javier Bardem and Fernando Fernán Gómez have obtained some recognition outside of Spain. Mexican actor Gail García Bernal has also recently received international attention in films by Spanish directors. Today, only 10 to 20% of box office receipts in Spain are generated by domestic films, a situation that repeats itself in many nations of Europe and the Americas. The Spanish government has therefore implemented various measures aimed at supporting local film production and movie theaters, which include the assurance of funding from the main national television stations. The trend is being reversed with the recent screening of mega productions such as the 30 million euros film a la triste, the Academy Award winning Spanish slash Mexican film Pan's Labyrinth. Volver, and Los Borgia, all of them hit blockbusters in Spain. Another aspect of Spanish cinema mostly unknown to the general public is the appearance of English-language Spanish films such as The Machinist. The others, Basic Instinct 2, and Milos Forman's Goy's Ghosts. All of these films were produced by Spanish firms. Spain is a multilingual country with a relatively complex sociolinguistic situation. According to the Article 3 of the 1978 Constitution, Spanish is the official language of the state, while other languages may also be official in autonomous communities according to the latter's regional statutes. As it is the case with Catalan slash Valencian, Basque, and Galician. Spanish, a Romance language, has become the hegemonic language in Spain. It has also become a global language and one of six official languages of the United Nations. Its current hegemony in Spain is subtly fostered by neoliberal discourses on educational choice flexibility and competition. Another Romance language, Catalan is a co-official language in the autonomous communities of the Balearic Islands, Catalonia and the Valencian community. It is also spoken in parts of the autonomous communities of Aragon and Murcia. While most of the native speakers of Catalan are located in Spain, the language is also natively spoken in the microstate of Andorra and parts of Italy and France. Galician is a language of the Western Ibero Romance branch closely related to Portuguese, spoken in the autonomous community of Galicia and small areas in neighboring Asturias and Castile and Leon. Aranese, a standardized form of the Pyrenean Gascon variety of the Occitan language, is spoken in the Val d'Aran in northwestern Catalonia together with Spanish and Catalan, enjoying official recognition. Other Romance languages of Spain include, Asturianese, Aragonese, Extremaduran, Fala language and Quinqui jargon. Colo language, considered a mixed Romani Romance language, is spoken by a number of Spanish Romani. Considered to be a language isolate relative to any other known living language, Basque is a non-Indo-European language co-official together with Spanish in the Basque Autonomous Community and in the northern part of Navarre. Regarding the Spanish autonomous cities in North Africa, the largely rural variety of vernacular Moroccan Daria Arabic characteristic of Jala is spoken together with Spanish in Ceuta, whereas Tamazic is spoken in Melilla in addition to Spanish. Cathedral of St. Mary of the Sea in Sevilla. About 68% of Spaniards identify as belonging to the Roman Catholic religion, 2% identify with another religious faith, and about 27% as non-religious. An important Spanish holiday is Semana Santa, 
celebrated the week before Easter with large parades and other religious events. Spaniards also hold patronal festivals to honor their local saints in churches, cities, towns and villages. The people decorate the streets, build bonfires, set off fireworks and hold large parades, bullfights and beauty contests. One of the best-known Spanish celebrations is the Festival of San Fermín, which is celebrated every year in July in Pamplona. Bulls are released into the streets, while people run ahead of the animals to the bullring. Real Madrid vs. Real Betis football slash soccer is the most popular sport in Spain. Notable teams include Celta de Vigo, Atletico Madrid, FC Barcelona, Sevilla FC, Athletic Bilbao, Valencia CF, Real Madrid and Real Sociedad. The Spain national football team has recently won the UEFA European Championship as well as the FIFA World Cup, along with having great domestic league success with heavy involvement from Barcelona. Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid in the UEFA Champions League over the past decade. Paella mixta a significant portion of Spanish cuisine derives from the Roman tradition. The Moorish people were a strong influence in part of Spain for many centuries. However, pork is popular and for centuries eating pork was also a statement of Christian ethnicity or cleanliness of blood, because it was not eaten by Jews or Muslims. Several ingredients from the Americas were introduced to Europe through Spain during the so-called Colombian Exchange, and a modern Spanish cook could not do without potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, and beans. These are some of the primary influences that have differentiated Spanish cuisine from Mediterranean cuisine, of which Spanish cuisine shares many techniques and food items. Jamón Ibérico The essential ingredient for real Spanish cooking is olive oil, as Spain produces 44% of the world's olives. However, butter or lard are also important, especially in the north. Daily meals eaten by Spaniards in many areas of the country are still very often made traditionally by hand, from fresh ingredients bought daily from the local market. This practice is more common in the rural areas and less common in the large urban areas like Barcelona or Madrid, where supermarkets are beginning to displace the open-air markets. However, even in Madrid food can be bought from the local shops, bread from the panaderia and meat from the carniceria. One popular custom when going out is to be served tapas with a drink, including sherry, wine and beer. In some areas, such as Almeria, Granada or Jaén in Andalusia, and Madrid, León, Salamanca or Lugo tapas are given for free with a drink and have become very well known for that reason. Almost every bar serves something edible when a drink is ordered, without charge. However many bars exist primarily to serve a purchase tapa. Another traditional favorite is the churro with a mug of thick hot chocolate to dip churros in. Churrias, or stores that serve churros, are quite common. The Chocolateria San Ginés in Madrid is especially famous as a place to stop and have some chocolate with churros, often late into the night, after being out on the town. Often traditional Spanish singers and musicians will entertain the guests. As is true in many countries, the cuisines of Spain differ widely from one region to another, even though they all share certain common characteristics, which include, the Spanish educational system follows a highly decentralized model. In a gradual manner, most powers over education policies were transferred to the autonomous communities. The regional public administrations are thus responsible for education policies, funding and expenditure allocation. As of 2020, the overarching educative legislation is regulated by the Ley Organica para la Mejora de la Calidad Educativa, an organic law. Relative to the average in European countries, Spain has a low share of students in public centers in both primary and secondary education. This is largely due to the salient role of the so-called Educación Concertada, which allows for privately owned centers funded by public money. University of Barcelona Autonomous University of Barcelona Autonomous University of Madrid Universidad Pompo Fabra Universidad de Valencia Bachillerato is usually taken if people aspire to go to college. The cultural diplomacy of Spain has set European integration and Ibero-American relations among its main goals. It has used branding strategies such as the so-called Marca España. Since the 1980s, Spain has took part in a number of horizontal initiatives as member of multilateral international organizations of the Ibero-American. Space such as the Organization of Ibero-American States and the Ibero-American General Secretariat. Similarly to other European countries, Spain has used the model of cultural institute as leading tool for cultural diplomacy. With common aims such as the dissemination of the country brand, cultural exchange and cooperation, and linguistic and educational promotion. 
a strong sense of national identity exists in many autonomous communities. These communities, even those that least identify themselves as Spanish, have contributed greatly to many aspects of mainstream Spanish culture. Most notably, the Basque country and Catalonia have widespread nationalist sentiment. Many Basque and Catalan nationalists demand statehood for their respective territories. Basque aspirations to statehood have been a cause of violence, although most Basque nationalists currently seek to fulfill their aspirations peacefully. There are also several communities where there is a mild sense of national identity, Galicia, Andalusia, Asturias, Navarre, linked. To Basque culture, Aragon, Balearic Islands and Valencia each have their own version of nationalism. But generally with a smaller percentage of nationalists than in the Basque country and Catalonia. There is some traction in the province of León pushing to separate from Castile and León, possibly together with the provinces of Zamora and Salamanca. Spain has a long history of tension between centralism and nationalism. The current organization of the state into autonomous communities under the Spanish Constitution of 1978 is intended as a way to incorporate these communities into the state. Thanks for watching.